Hello everyone. In this Cloudmersive Power Automate tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector to convert Markdown to HTML. As most of you probably know, Markdown is a nice lightweight markup language specifically used to make writing HTML easier. In this demonstration, we're going to put the resulting HTML code from this operation into a text file, but you can send the text from this operation to a number of different applications depending on your use case. Let's begin. On the Power Automate homepage, click Create on the left-hand side of the page and select Instant Cloud Flow on the following page. Instant Cloud Flows are great for testing connectors with full control over your data, which is why we're selecting this option. Give your flow a name, and then select the option to manually trigger a flow before pressing Create at the bottom to move on. On the Flow Design page, we can begin the flow by clicking New Step and searching for the Get File Content action. I'm using the action associated with SharePoint, so I'm selecting that option and then defining my site address from the dropdown right after. Using the file picker, navigate to your markdown file and select it. When you're ready, you can click New Step and this time type Cloudmersive into the search bar. Below, you'll see a list of Cloudmersive connectors with different colored logos. Select the document conversion connector with the green logo and then search for Convert Markdown to HTML from the Connector Actions list. When you select the right option, you'll likely receive a prompt to include your Cloudmersive API key to authenticate use of the connector. If you don't have a key, visit our website and register a free account to get one. You'll get a limit of 800 API calls per month with access to dozens of additional Cloudmersive connectors. Once your API key is saved, we can configure the action parameters. This part is very easy. Just click on the input file bar and select file content from the dynamic content window to ensure the markdown file is included in the action. Then copy the file name from the previous step and include that as the second parameter. In our final step, I'll show you how to create a new text file with the resulting HTML code. Click New Step and type Create File into the search bar. As before, select the appropriate action for your purposes and then define your site address. Below, we'll need to define the folder path, name, and contents of the new file. To pick your folder, use the file picker icon on the right and navigate until you find it. Then, give your file a name and include the txt suffix to ensure it generates a text file. Finally, use the dynamic content window once again to include output content from the document conversion action. Now we're all set, so let's click save at the bottom and wait a few seconds until the flow is completely saved. After that, let's click test in the upper right corner of the page and select the option to manually trigger the flow. Then, let's click test at the bottom followed by continue and run flow. When the flow runs successfully, you'll see green check marks come up on each item in the flow. Once you see that, you can verify the file was created by either visiting your target folder or checking the details of the create file action after the test is complete. With that, you're all done, and you can easily automate this flow by choosing the automated flow option in the Power Automate Create page. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.